LCDS, a vision for inclusive, sustainable development. In 2009, Guyana launched the first low-carbon development strategy, LCDS, from a developing country, setting out a vision for inclusive, sustainable development while simultaneously maintaining the country's forests, about 85% of the country's territory, to help meet some of the most urgent challenges the world faces. Recognizing that the first objective of the LCDS required international action, Guyana sought partners who shared the country's vision. In 2009, Guyana and Norway agreed to work together to create a model for how progress on economic incentives for forests could be made. Then President Dr. Bar Jagdio and Norway's Minister of the Environment and International Development, Eric Solim, signed an agreement where Norway would provide Guyana with result-based payments for forest climate services, alongside cooperation between the countries in the fight against the climate change, the protection of biodiversity, and the enhancement of sustainable development. Fast forward to October 2021, when His Excellency the President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali launched the new LCDS, LCDS 2030, and also called on all Guyanese to participate in a national consultation on the strategy. The scale of vision captured 12 years ago remains valid today and continues to rest on two fundamental questions. One, how can Guyana harness the opportunities of low carbon development to prosper at home? And two, how can Guyana lead the way to globally relevant solutions to the biggest challenges of our time, including energy security and climate change? LCDS 2030 sets out an updated vision for how government intends to drive transformation of the country. We will welcome feedback and insights over the coming months. But today, as we launch the consultation, I want to outline four main themes that the LCDS 2030 addresses. The first theme is how we align our status as an oil and gas producer with being Active, well being active participants in the global search for climate solutions. Second, I want to focus on how Guyana once again intends to resume our work to build a global model for forest climate services and other eco service systems. Third, I will outline how we will drive the, further, the future low carbon development of our country through clean energy and a suite of low carbon development opportunities, including investment in protecting our people and country against climate change that is already occurring. Guyana has the second highest percentage of forest cover on earth and is working with partners to sustain 99.5% of that forest while building the foundation for a new low carbon ecosystem economy. Since the October launch of the draft the LCDS 2030, hundreds of Guyanese from all over the country have participated in the national consultation. There is still time to have your say. To provide feedback, go to the LCDS website, lcds.gov.gy or email lcds2030 at op.gov.gy. LCDS, a vision for inclusive, sustainable development.